Welcome back you guys, your boy CK. Now what if we woke up tomorrow and every single quarterback did a complete 180? So Dak Prescott, instead of playing for the best seed in the NFC East, he'd be playing on the best seed in the AFC East, which was the Buffalo Bills last season. Or what about Joe Burr? Instead of playing on the top seed in the AFC North, he'd be playing on the best seed in the NFC North, the Green Bay Packers. So not only are they switching conferences, but to keep it more more direct they have to go to the exact opposite division and get assigned a new team based on where they finished during the regular season last year because that was the most fair way to do it so now you guys know how it works hopefully man as you can see the afc east will go to the nfc east and vice versa that means the patriots quarterback mac jones who finished second in the afc east is now in philadelphia the team that finished second in the nfc east and now jalen hurts gets bill belichick check as his new coach. Tua Tagovailoa is headed to Washington. And now Ryan Fitzmagic is headed to Miami. That is some elite level Photoshop, man. I'm telling you, I'm getting nice. I'm not gonna lie. The Jets and the Giants, they did not look out. I, I, I was hoping for big things from both of them in this experiment. But the Jets get Daniel Jones. And the Giants get Zach Wilson. It's like nothing changed. The Bengals replace Joe Burr with Aaron Rodgers. The second seed in the AFC North was the Steelers. So Big Ben goes to the second seed in the NFC North, the Vikings. Meanwhile, Pittsburgh gets Kirk Cousins. The Bears get a brand new quarterback by the name of Baker Mayfield. Meanwhile, the Browns get a fast young stud in Justin Fields. We'll see if he can game manage his way with this roster to a Lombardi. Speaking of Lombardis, a team that has never gotten one. The Detroit Lions now inherit Lamar Action Jackson from the last place AFC North team, the Ravens who are now led by Jared Goff. TB12 is back for one last run and it's gonna be done in Tennessee because his team had first in the NFC South, which is why they now have Tannehill as their QB1. Carson barely missed out on the playoffs in Indy. Now we're gonna see if he can team up with Peyton and take the Saints to the playoffs. Meanwhile, famous Jameis is gonna be in the AFC for the first time in his career. The Texans were a tricky one. I know Watson didn't play all season, but I didn't wanna punish the team the Texans are trading with. So Houston gets Matty Ice and the Falcons get Deshaun Watson. The rookie Trevor Lawrence is headed to Carolina and Cam Newton and is headed back to the AFC this time on the Jaguars. There's been a lot of speculation that the Broncos might get a new quarterback in the offseason. So maybe this is a little preview of what could happen if they do. Russell Wilson leading the way in Denver now. Meanwhile, the Seahawks get Teddy B. It's crazy to think that the Niners only finished third in their division and still had that crazy playoff run. Well, now they might have another one because Justin Herbert is their new quarterback. And say what you want about Jimmy G but that man finds a way to win. I could see him doing well in Los Angeles. The Raiders have been pretty good with Derek Carr for a long time. We're gonna find out if they can be even better with Kyler Murray though. Meanwhile, Derek Carr gets to play with one of the best receivers in the league for the first time in his career. And last but not least, Super Bowl champion, Matthew Stafford is headed to the first seed in the AFC West, the Kansas City Chiefs. He might break some records with Tyreek and Kelsey. That's if this guy doesn't break at first the super bowl champions have just added patrick Jesus mahomes Christ. it's about to get dark people so we have successfully switched every single quarterback to the opposite conference while keeping all of the teams the same you're gonna see a lot of guys with different supporting cast some better some worse but i think it's be a good little experiment to see which quarterbacks elevate the team around them seeing some of these guys struggle is gonna hurt <laughs> end of the season let's take a look at the afc team Teams that made it the Browns with Fields at quarterback at the best seed in the conference the Raiders with Kyler Bills with Dak ended up the third seed the Broncos with Russell Wilson end up making the playoffs the Bengals with the Rodgers of course they made it the Patriots with Jalen let's go I feel so dirty rooting for them but you know it's my boy Jalen and then the Texans with Matty Ice how did he pull that off man that dude is different some of the shockers how did the Titans with Brady and Henry not make it the charges with Jimmy G didn't make it. The Chiefs with Stafford went eight and nine. Guess he could not overcome that defense. Meanwhile, on the NFC, the Vikings, led by Big Ben, get the one seed. I told you, man, just give him an elite wide receiver core and he could turn back the clock. 
pun intended. <laughs> you knew the Packers would feast with Joe Burr as their quarterback. They end up getting the two seed. The Seahawks with Teddy B end up the three seed. The Rams with Mahomes, of course, they make the playoffs. I thought they would have a higher seed, but at least they got in. The Bucks with Tannehill make it. Cowboys with Josh Allen, of course, they make it. And then the Bears with Baker Mayfield prove a lot of people wrong. Herbo on the Niners. I thought they for sure would have made it. I can't believe they didn't. Watson on the Falcons do respectable. They go eight and nine. Carr in Arizona went seven and 10. I thought they would do way better than that. And then Lamar ends up four and 13, but he did all he could. He led everyone in passing yards. In Detroit, he produced three 1,000 yard receivers and none of them were TJ Hawkinson. That's why they say team record is not the end all be all because you can have a phenomenal season and still come up short. Best completion percentage went to Mahomes. Dak and Lamar right behind him. Joe Burr led everyone in passing touchdowns 44 to eight in Green Bay. Mahomes right behind him. Kyler ends up third. Baker threw the fourth most touchdowns, only seven interceptions. Mac Jones threw a lot of interceptions. Him and Lamar didn't have the best wide receiver course, so they were throwing it a lot, but they had to force things sometimes. Same with Tua. Never mind, Tua had Terry McLaurin. There's no excuse. Yeah, it's that Raven system because no way Jared Goff should be leading all quarterbacks in rushing yards. Derek Carr ends up second. They got to fix that, but it, it can't just be reliant on scheme. The players play style should determine it man Lamar ends up third so it's not all bad Derrick Henry takes some MVP Joe Burr ends up second Dak ends up third SQB goes to Dak in the AFC though and in the NFC it goes to Joe Shiesty in the wild card round Rodgers and the Bengals take care of Kyler and the Raiders Hurts and the Patriots upset Dak Prescott and the Bills Russell Wilson and the Broncos obliterate Matty Ice and the Texans meanwhile in the NFC Russ's old team led by Teddy B take care of business against Baker and the Bears Mahomes barely squeaks out a win against Tanny and the Bucks and then Josh Allen takes care of business against Joe Burr and the Packers in the most thrilling game of the weekend. The seven seed Bengals do it again. Rodgers helps them upset Justin Fields and the one seed Browns. Meanwhile, Hurts is headed to the AFC Championship game after beating Wilson and the Broncos. I told you all the Rams had to do was get in and they could make a deep run. They upset the one seed. Big Ben and the Vikings still had a phenomenal season and that's a rough ending for Teddy B and the Seahawks. They get molly by Josh Allen and the Cowboys setting up for a rematch Josh Allen versus Mahomes yes, in the sir. NFC championship Allen and the Cowboys have the lead start of fourth quarter but the Rams still have Donald and that guy that made the tackle this just proves that these quarterbacks would thrive no matter which team no matter what system that's why they're the best of the best now granted it's not like they downgraded their supporting cast that much one could argue they both upgraded maybe not the Bills maybe that was like a sidestep but as good as Kelsey and Hill are I think Cooper Cup Odell and then the defense of the Rams is a clear upgrade over the Chiefs so it's not too surprising to see both of these teams as far as they are in the simulation but hey the quarterbacks earned this man they got their teams to one seeds in their division so they deserve to go to the best in the other conference either way third and goal Josh Allen with a clean pocket they only rush three that's what you can do when you have Vaughn and Aaron Donald he's gonna throw it away and take the three not the best numbers for Mahomes when you have one of the best receivers in the league man i thought that would be an unstoppable connection but i guess cooper and matthew stafford just have a little bit more chemistry than we thought there's odell getting in on the action only a second catch of the game no wonder why y'all are losing gotta get your biggest playmakers involved earlier than that there's catch number three but is it too little too late second and inches oh here comes the blitz great protection he finds his running back cam acres there's gonna be a handoff acres down inside the five don't know about that call i guess they were trying to catch them off guard but that keeps the clock moving third and three touchdown <laughs> Never mind, his feet were out of bounds. And at the end of all this, they're gonna have to settle for three. Here comes the onside kick. There's anyone that could do it. Is Johnny oh. Hecker? Oh wow, never mind. That was that was horrendous. 
The Cowboys are headed to the Super Bowl. Josh Allen gets his revenge on Patrick Mahomes. It's weird when you can say that the lower seed is the favorite, but that's the situation. The Bengals just made the Super Bowl and they improved their quarterback. I mean, Burrow is amazing, but Rodgers is still the MVP. And we have ourselves another thriller, 21 all. Early in the fourth quarter, Mixon, wide right. They're empty in the backfield. Jamar gets them down to the one. You knew that would be a nasty combo. Combination. Jamar Chase, one of the best receivers already. And then you pair him with Aaron Rodgers. I mean, what do you think is going to happen? Of course, they're going to make a deep playoff run. Look at Rodgers. How did he escape that sack? Smart move going to the goal line formation. Just pound the rock. You have one of the most underrated running backs but they give it to their fullback, Samaji P. Ryan. Can we talk about Jalen Hurts, though? I don't want to hear, oh, he's playing with the best coach, this, that, and third. First of all, it's not even Belichick, it's Griffin Murphy. Second of all, he arguably went to the one team, or maybe one of, like, a few teams in the NFL that have a worse receiving core than his Eagles. I mean, I think Kendrick Bourne is his best receiver. Hunter Henry, the best tight end on the Patriots. And his running back, I mean, I think Booby is better than Damian Harris, but, you know, that's another discussion for another day at worst it's the same support cast and he has the patriots one win away from the super bowl man i know it's just a game it's just madden but you know i had to push my hurts agenda just a little bit man this proves that he's better than people give him credit for second and eight in completion watch he's about to throw a game ceiling interception I, I just know it because i just hyped him up like that it's what i do i re I, I jinx people okay it is what it is hurts bottom of the screen i told you luckily it was out of bounds fourth and eight last chance for new england four-man rush for the bengals hurts out of the pocket Whoa! Throwing an interception. Please don't be Eli Apple. Anyone but him. Yes, Cheeto Bay. We'll take it. The Patriots have already spent a timeout. Third and two. One of the biggest plays of the game. Rodgers. Find a wide open Uzoma. A few inches later. I cannot believe this. I was super simming. I thought the game was over. Somehow Hurts has led them in the red zone. And they have a chance to tie the game. Hurts. Less than five seconds left. Hurts. Gonna scramble. He gets stopped at the one. Holy crap. They're lucky they had a timeout. Third and inches. This is the game. Empty backfield. Jalen finds a wide open Henry. We're going to OT. Bengals get ball first in overtime though. Rogers has a chance to win the game. But instead he throws an interception. JC Jackson with the game winning pick six. Hurts is headed to the Super Bowl. Got a pretty low scoring game. But Josh Allen's team is on top 13 to 10 in field goal range looking to extend their lead third and four ginormous play allen gonna scramble why didn't he just run i'm not blaming josh I i'm blaming the game real life he would have scrambled for that probably would have had a chance to score they still get three four man rush again for the cowboys hurts on the run finds a wide open damon harris another third down for hurts and company cowboys still only sending four they don't have to send more because they have pass rushers it ends up incomplete and the patriots are going to punt time to waste some clock if i'm the cowboys zeke gets them a first down another handoff another first down for zeke Patriots only have one more timeout they need to stop or else they lose and who else but my Michael Gallup getting a game ceiling catch. Josh Allen and the Cowboys are Super Bowl champions. He beat out Jalen Hurts in the final game of the season, just like we all predicted, man. Thank you so much for watching. Please obliterate the like button if you did enjoy it. Do not forget to subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Nobody's safe. Came from Melbourne, we fresh out the gate. And I look like I came from LA. From New Jersey, I look like LA. I'm a water, I'm from in LA. I'ma get it, it's mine for the tape. Ride the beamer when I'm out of state. Could it be almost got me a case? No Olympic, I'm winning the race. Now I'm one cause I'm killing the game. Talking crazy, I'm going insane. Shifting gears and I'm switching the lane. How about stations just going to tame? Going up so I'm making a name.